let's talk about Greek life. It's been really controversial, especially in the past few years with all of these hazing situations that have been happening. Do you think Greek life should be abolished? I don't think it should be abolished, but I do think there should be more limitations put on mental health and fraternities and sororities. What do you think some of those limitations might look like? I think that administrations should be able to put like fraternities and sororities on probation to potentially abolish them if they continue to experience things like having sexual assault and not addressing it, or if there continues to be hazing that result in like physical or mental illness. I don't have a lot of experiences with fraternities and sororities in a traditional aspect, but I do think I've heard a lot over the last few years about especially people experiencing sexual assault at fraternities and people who are in hazing situations getting really, really sick from alcohol poisoning. The idea of having like isolated sororities and then there's fraternities and kind of dividing them both by gender. Do you feel like it holds up any sort of toxic gender stereotypes? I don't think separating them by gender holds up toxic stereotypes, but I do think during rush week and during hazing, it can definitely hold up toxic masculinity when men feel like they're forced to participate in an event that maybe they're not comfortable with in order to impress the people that they're trying to get into the fraternity with.